then we've got a couple of expansions. Both revolve around the same fantastic murderer, <laughs> Jack the Ripper. One of the best. He really was mm -hmm. one of the best. Uh, from both from Asmodee, first one is Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. This is, if you haven't played it, it's a... Not, I wouldn't say story. It's kind of a storytelling game, but not really. It's a mystery. It's a cooperative mystery solving game in which you go through different scenarios. There's a little map, and you pretty much try to find solve the mystery as quick as you can, then compare it and see how poorly you did against Sherlock. It's kind of like a choose your own adventure. Yeah. With deduction involved, including some other side mysteries going on. Right. We've played two stories so far out of it. We've loved it. I think we've been a little worried to do the third one because apparently it's not that good. Yeah, for sure. It's the only bad one. <laughs> but um, this expansion is adding to add some new stories and scenarios yes. which revolve around, guess who? Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jack the Ripper. Well, so it's, it's called The West End. And yeah, at first there's a normal set of new cases, new newspapers, new stories, just more stuff, nothing really crazy. Then, as you said, the Jack the Ripper stuff What's especially cool about it, it's, I believe, four cases, and you are you have to play them in order. It is, I don't want to call it a campaign, because that's, that seems like a buzzword that maybe doesn't apply here, but it is a continuous thing, or you have to play them in order, unlike the original, where you really could play any of them in any order. Although, actually, I don't know if that's true, because some of them actually refer back to older newspapers sometimes, but I guess this is more heavily dependent on that. So it's interesting, and you're trying to figure out who Jack the Ripper is. Of course, we don't really know, so because we actually uh, never caught Jack the Ripper. I'm curious so what spoilers. They, yeah, <laughs> spoilers. The last page just says, "Sorry." Oh well, no, spoilers! It's actually the Chupacabra. Oh, that makes too much sense. Uh, but I mean, it's Illuminati pretty cool. Confirmed. More cases for that game. No, I mean we've definitely loved it. Definitely, people want that. No, we've loved it, and I'm very excited to actually receive. I don't think it's made by them. It's made with some similar. Did a similar game design, except it's Cthulhu related. Uh, Mythos Tales, I believe it's called. Yeah, yeah. I backed that Kickstarter. I'm very excited to receive that, and we're going to have fun playing that too. Yeah, it's a fun design mechanic. It's, it we're, really is. We, we, we like our, our mysteries. We like to play games that barely count as games. <laughs> uh, but the other one yes. is the expansion for when the base game actually is all about Jack the Ripper. Yes. Letters to Whitechapel, a very popular game in which one player plays as the Jack the Ripper the rest as cops, and they're pretty much trying to catch him. And it's one of those games where you, the Jack the Ripper player has his own little board. He's moving around, trying to move through the city without Hidden getting movement, caught. movement, stealth yeah. kind of game. Very fun. Definitely a, a very, it's sort of like playing hide-and-go-seek tag. So <laughs> it's very silly for both sides to see, to be like, where, where is he? And just like go around loops and then ask him, I search here. You found me. What? <laughs> yeah. A lot, lots, lots of fun. Plus, there's murder in it. Mm -hmm. uh, this new one is called Dear Boss. And it basically has a bunch of new variants that are all optional that you can put in. And depending on how you feel with the game, they will make one or the other side more powerful. And the original game had some things like this, too, because... It seems like everybody who plays the game always has an opinion of, depending on their group, which side they think always no wins one, or always loses. Yeah, no one says, I think, oh, it, it feels balanced. Like, right. <laughs> in our, I definitely feel it depends who plays, but definitely in our group, I think um, Jack has only won once Yeah, out of the three or four times we've played. I think that's And right. that was, uh, I was the, the Jack the Ripper. And the, I think the, definitely the big issue with that is we didn't try any of the variants. And... I think it's it's. I don't think it's a problem with the game, it, like how they wrote the rules. I think it's just in general with this or uh, the other big game similar to it, uh, Spectre Ops. Once you play it like two or three times, you sort of learn the the the, the turns that Jack can make. Mm -hmm. Like the more you play it, the harder it is for Jack. But the earlier games are much easier for Jack, even though we've caught him. I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah. And I think that's why I think variants are good. For yeah. this kind of thing. So, for example, some of these now you can give each cop has a special power, like they could actually move across uh, an alleyway or a building block. Um, so, and for some of the ones are for Jack, give him special abilities as well. Some of them actually can give him specific identities, so they actually include some suspects that were from that time period, and like it'll require him to be in a specific place or and give him a power also different things yeah. like that the I other mean, thing that I, the thing that i'm most excited about from this is that it also comes with new miniatures so it actually looked like yeah the original one they were just kind of pawns and this one you have 
fully sculpted, detailed, looks like people figures, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm definitely excited for both these. I think both of these games are actually within probably our... While we have we do need to play them more, I do think we would both agree they're on the top end of our list. Yeah, they're really fun. Like, we, well, like we love the Sherlock Holmes because we, like, we like Mysteries where it's almost a game. Yeah. <laughs> and we really do like the other one because it's... The 1V, and I'm not usually a fan of the 1V all, but I like these mystery ones because I like the tag aspect because it's almost like the other one. You're, you're more solving a puzzle, really, yeah. than you don't, and you don't really feel as much like, there's some time, uh, some other the 1V all games I usually get annoyed because it usually feels like either, great, I'm just getting ganged up on, or I, the, other, the other person's, the one person's so powerful you just feel worthless, and I don't feel mm. like that because it's, it's more of cat and mouse. You're and not I'm, you're not actually attacking each other or anything. You're, right, you're and I think that cat and mouse aspect is what makes it work in this situation. For sure. So that's for me. That's why I think these definitely both fit. And of course, you put Sherlock Holmes on anything for me. That's one of those. There's three key words you put on me, and I'll be like, I'll take it. We need the Sherlock Holmes expansion for Whitechapel now, so we can come full circle. Oh God! No, someone gets a play Sherlock. One person Sherlock. They just know everything. Yeah. No, they're just like here he is. Uh, what, he's allowed to walk behind Sherlock in the map and just. Very unfair. They really need to nerf Sherlock Holmes. So yeah, we're really looking forward to those now. Well, actually, you know what he could do? He could have a power that each turn he can force Jack to give him two numbers, one true, one live, where he currently is. <laughs> Yeah, that's if your Jack the Ripper is just too good. That's if the rest of your cops are like you're playing with six-year-olds. <laughs> or you mean our regular? You groups. need some help. Yeah, that is what I meant. I didn't want to say it. I wanted to be nice. <laughs>